map look who it is it's your boy back at it again it is friday september 10th 2021 baby boy baby girl welcome back glad you made it it is yet another so so production we're doing an outdoor sesh today it's friday tgif baby shout out to everybody out there going out there getting it boys doing it baby taking wee little steps taking phone calls making phone calls ring ring are you available do you take walk-ins right now you got an open mic stitch happening at your spot. Not yet. Understandable, that's understandable. We'll take our time. We'll create our own little stage out here. Not to worry about it. Not to worry about it. Just hanging out with the good people of Toronto. Doing things, man. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a beautiful start to your weekend wherever you are, dude. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. What's going on in my life right now? Man, oh man. You know... It's a beautiful thing when you live in the city and you live in a rental apartment. Because a lot of things are taken care of for you, you know? A little bit of, you know, maintenance needs to be done is taken care of for you. You get a little slip under your door. Oh, we're taking care of the electricity. We're taking care of the water. The valves need to be changed. That's, that's what they'll say. Hot water needs to be reconnected. We gotta turn it off, we gotta turn it back on. We're doing some elevator work. So be it. And that's what I was doing, man. Keeping myself busy, but also trying to coordinate my schedule. Cause there was an elevator shut off. There was emergency elevator work that needed to be done. Your boy lives on the top floor of his building. So I'm out there, you know, I can get down easily, but coming back up's a little bit of a pain in the rear end, if you feel me. But that's the thing, you think I'm gonna stop, baby? You think I'm just gonna stop and not get around just because the elevator's not working? You don't know me, bro. You don't know me, I don't need the elevator. I don't need electricity. I'm that generation that grew up on that, you know, Mission Impossible, I'm on my TC shit, bro. I'm working with them suction cups, you feel me? I'm working like the Spider-Man, going up and down the building using suction cups like our ancestors used to do, because that's what it was before elevators came around. If you talk to your grandpappy, what did they use to get upstairs? Suction cups. Magical. That's what I was doing, man. I'm out there just climbing steps, getting from one floor to another, running errands. I'm getting comfortable. I'm getting in my zone. The suction cups, don't ask me where I got them. It just happened to be in my suitcase. Which suitcase? Doesn't matter. A suitcase. Had it ready to go for emergency cases. You never know. Climbing up, climbing down. You know. Sometimes I'll get up, I'll see, I'll see a little bit of a spot on somebody's window. I'll see a dirty window, I'll start I'll start cleaning it up. I'll start cleaning it. Classic S-shape cleanup. S-shape clean. I'm doing a whole movement. <laughs> hey, what's going on, puppy? Beautiful doggo right here, chilling with us, I hanging don't out. Have to knock over your tripod. No, it's all good. He's part of the show now. Well here, He's, I can I can put him in the show. Beautiful, then... beautiful. We got our first canine of the show. What's his or her name? His name is Monty. Monty, beautiful, beautiful. Monty's a big supporter, longtime supporter. Glad you made it. He knows this is so so production. That's what's up. <laughs> he smells the food. Oh, and he's food driven. That's right. Do it up, bad boy. Okay, come on, Monty. Let's go. Or not. <laughs> Monty, the park. The park. Have a good one. Man, but I'm out there cleaning up spots, doing the squeegee for my residence, for my building. You know. Because uh, that's the thing, sometimes we'll have the annual cleaning, somebody will come, drop from the ceiling, start doing that squeegee, start doing that S shape, baby. You think I'm gonna stop and not take care of my building? If I see a little bit of a spot, if I see a smudge, it's <laughs> swipe, baby, <laughs> swipe. That's what I've been doing, occupying myself with them suction cups. At one point, I'm all the way downstairs, they're like, we fixed it, you no longer need to use the suction cups. I'm like, I'm used to it now. I'm used to it now, I'm in my comfort zone, dog. I'm in my comfort zone, going in and out, using suction cups, hanging from ceilings, bro. I get, I'll get into, sure, you can go through the entrance like a normal human being do, but have you ever, you know, that's what I'm, I packed the whole gear, suction cups, I'm talking glass cutters, diamond edge, diamond sharp, diamond, like, you know, the diamond devices, the, di the sharp diamond edge cutters on glass. I'm cutting glasses on all my windows, dude. Who's gonna fix it? Who knows? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> oh man, that's what I'm saying, dude. You gotta, you gotta innovate. You gotta innovate. 
you know sometimes that's what it is you'll have a little bit of a hiccup somebody stuck in the elevator you know back in the day you used to get stuck you had to wait there for hours you might not even you got stuck you got lost you might not even be found you know because that's elevators were that's you know it's now we can few people had to drop all the way to the bottom till it clicked and we're like man we should really invest in some emergency brakes in these back could you imagine the first few people in the elevators without the emergency brakes you know the old school elevators the ones where the doors were like cranked they had to crank you in and out everything was using cranks wheelies and pulleys and just like mechanisms you know what i'm talking about that art deco elevator in the 1920s where you got in there were two doors one door had gates on it the other door closed behind you there was an elevator man waiting inside to take you on a trip you going up you going down where are we going east or west you name your direction sir we'll get you to your destination is what they said you felt comfortable you felt assured there was somebody telling you that everything's going to be okay that ship had a captain you know what i'm saying i had a captain and now it's just you get in there now you're navigating wild waters where are we going is it going to be stuck today is it an older building gosh this is slow oh my god it's a new building moving super fast supersonic speeds what kind of elevator game are you running have you prepared for the day when the internet's gonna go out because of a shooting starburst dude and the up in the sky a shooting starburst will just you know boobity bop boop flash flash next thing you know the whole the whole facility goes down. Now, all of a sudden, you're like, man, I wish I invested in some suction cups. Next thing you know, you're running down to the Home Depot. You're running down to the utility store. You're running down to get some suction cups. Guess what? Sold out. Why? Because everybody's freaking out. Like, oh, I can't have enough suction cups. Getting suction cups, just sticking it on all parts of their bodies because you never know when you're going to need it. You never know when you're going to need it. That's what it is, man. Diamond, diamond cutters, glass, glass, diamond cutters straight up you need that stuff you never know how you're gonna have to get into a building and then today bro that was that was yesterday all right we'll let this bad boy move on over very loud you got to just be a little bit patient sip sip to you guys though nonetheless today was a different battle so there was a different hour because your boy gets out in the morning your boy gets out in the morning i do my runs around the street i do my runs i do my little side gigs so i can support the arts the movement because right now you got to create your own stage you can't wait because that's the day you got to go grab the day by the you got to grab the day make the day your female companion your female dog companion of course that's what i'm talking about but that's the thing i got out did my morning runs made a little bit of money so I could keep the momentum going so I can support myself for the time being. You want to support your boy, go on Patreon. We've been adjusting. Check it out. There's going to be, trust your boy when I say there's going to be merch dropping at some point. Man, it's loud outside. But that's what it is, man. Today was a different story. I get out for my runs. I do my morning routine, make a little bit of money. It's time to get back inside, refresh, you know, get ready for the show. Gotta go, gotta go use the bathroom though. Gotta go use the bathroom because that's what it is. Sometimes you get the nature calls, you know? Nine, 10 in the morning, nature calls sometimes. Nature was calling, you feel me? And I forgot because I've been getting notes underneath my door. One day we're gonna fix the electricity. One day we're gonna do this. One day we're gonna do that. And the next thing you know, the days creeped upon you where they're doing the waterworks. They're fixing the pipes. They're fixing the valves. That's a water shut off, dude, but I had no idea. No idea, it skipped my mind. So I'm out there, in there, doing my thing, squatting, trying to relieve myself, doing a classic numero deuce. Bro, you feel me? Do my thing, feeling all good. Get up, and I flush down the toilet, but guess what? The flush is feeling weak, and it's just like, oh, I know everything went down, don't worry, everything went down the tubes. But I'm like, oh no, the water's gonna be off till one in the afternoon. What are we to do? What are we to do? I'm just, I'm at that point where I'm just like, I'm praying, dude. I'm just like flicking the valve, flicking it up and down. I'm like, please turn on, please just, just a few drops, 10 seconds worth of drops, dude, something. I'm trying to just, it's making hissing noises. It's making, you know, the pipes, the air is just like gushing through, nothing's coming out. I'm freaking out, losing my mind. I can't leave the building now. 
I can't leave the building now. It's not sanitary like this. How am I going to live with myself? It occurred to me. Light bulb went off. Beautiful light bulb went off. Fluorescent light bulb. Neon light bulbs went off on my mind. I remember downstairs before you get inside the building. Guess what? We got a little entrance where you can, you know, stop and wait there. You got a little, you gotta, you gotta buzz yourself in sometimes. You got a key, you wanna use a key, go ahead and open that door. But before you get inside the building, you'll find yourself, you know, accommodated with some hand sanitizer. Boom, baby, I'm downstairs in a GIF. Hand sanitizer, just put it, cause that's the thing. What am I gonna do? What, I totally skipped my mind that they're gonna be turning off the water. What am I gonna do? Walk around here like a nasty little, you know? No sorry, but, but that's the thing. I hadn't washed my hands this morning since I left. Since maybe like 7.30, 8 in the morning, I've been outside doing things. Now I'm in the bathroom doing other things, other human things. Don't judge me, bro. What, do you, what would you have done? Couldn't keep it in. Skip my mind that there's no water. At one point, I'm looking at the tank. I'm looking at the tank of the toilet bowl. I'm like, man, can I scoop some bowls of water out of this bad boy? I'm like, no, not today. Light bulb. Hand sanitizer downstairs, baby. I'm going out there in the hallway, touching everything with my elbow. Doing that classic elbow. Press the, trying to open doors with my elbow. But luckily, that's the thing, man. I got downstairs, hand sanitizer was there, squirt, squirt. Got a couple of extra squirts, not gonna lie to you. Even that kind of fell dirty. I'm just like, oh, oh. what am I doing here? Just, you know, you feel, it does, Hand sa if you've not washed your hand and you're just using hand sanitizer, bro. But you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Desperate times calls for desperate measures and your boy had to go out there and, you know, think on the spot. But luckily I knew if I get the hand sanitizer on my hands, I can make my way down to a Tim Hortons, local classic Tim Hortons, order myself a small regular coffee and guess what? Use the facilities, that's right. Ladies, gentlemen, your boy used the facilities to wash his hands. Don't you be thinking that I'm out here right now with unwashed hands, bro. You know the times, you know what day it is today? Do you know where you are? Do you know where your kids are? Do you know where your husband is? Do you know where your wife is tonight? You gotta ask questions, that's all I'm saying. But also make sure you clean up after yourselves because it's a, it's a risky world. It's a dangerous part of the reason why I stepped into storytelling and wanted to be a comic is because your boy likes a little bit of risk. You feel me? I like a little bit of a risky lifestyle. Sometimes, you know, I might like, you know, I'll just hop into my shoes, not even like tighten up my shoelaces. I'll let it hang a little bit loose. Why? Because you never know when you're going to be walking in a store. Boop de boop, you trip and fall. Next thing you know, you're on EI or something. Never done it, just a thought. But I'm saying, I like to live life on the edge. I'm that kind of dude, you know? I'll get a plastic water bottle, use it all, and then refill it back up, bro. You think a little bit of plastic's gonna hold me back? You think a little plastic's gonna hold me back? Maybe down the line, we'll be able to tell once it's inside our bodies. We'll be able to tell if it can stop it because that's the thing and in, in, in literal life and in everyday interactions bottle bottles water bottles ain't got nothing on your boy do my thing but I'll, I'll, I'll live a risky life and that's why i got into story because that's the thing it feels like everywhere is uh everywhere is gone you know extra you know safe space here safe space there next thing there's actually like no actual space like do you need could you use a little bit of breathing room baby I asked myself that and I call myself baby as I asked it. I'm like, could you use a little bit of breathing room, baby? And the answer was yes. I could definitely use a little bit of breathing room. Who can't use a little bit of extra breathing room? That's, you know, that's why I step outside, create my own stage where everything's a little bit safer. But that's the thing, schools are back open. Everybody's getting on their grind. The kids are going to school. They don't want to wear the masks. You'll see them on TV crying in parliament, in Congress, in, we're emerging countries at one point telling these stories, right? Voicing their concerns. They're like, have you ever, you know, but that's the thing. Unless there's, unless there's the agenda that wants to be, you get, you get one kid crying, throwing tantrums over, you know, regular old weather. All of a sudden, everybody's like, how dare you? But you know, you hear some kids coming up there on stage, be like, how dare you put a mask on our face? 
and nobody listens. But that's the thing. Listen to all the kids, even the ones that are crying about the weather. Fine, so be it. But you know, also look at the motives. Ask questions. And I don't know what I'm talking about, dude. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just a storyteller. Just somebody who likes to dabble in the arts, if you will, a little bit. So that's what it is. We keep it silly. I don't know anything, dude. If you want to fact check it, fact check it. If you don't want to fact check it, there's nothing to be fact checked anyway. Live your life. I don't know nothing. Just trying to figure it out. One day at a time. Trying to do some light work. How? How can you do some light work? Well, we provide all sorts of services. All sorts of services. Mingling with dogs, with canines, with pooches. You saw it. Making beautiful connections. Do you want full access? Do you want the most access? Sign up now. Follow me on Instagram. Hit the like buttons. Go ahead, search Rob Sadry on YouTube so you get the full length video. And the Patreon is being updated little by little. Had to make a little bit of an adjustment. Check it out. Talk about it. It's all about giving back, really. I'm all about the give backs. You know? Do you do you wanna do you wanna adopt a new pet for yourself? Are you tired of the same old, same old? I've always been a big advocate of sea creatures, baby. You're like, what do I get this Christmas? Is there a pet out there? that I can get for Christmas that's a little bit different than a cat and a dog. Get yourself a beautiful leafy dragon, baby. Leafy sea dragon, that's right, you heard it. Leafy sea dragon, check it out. Beautiful, magical animals. They look like seaweed. You're like, man, can I get a pet that also looks like a plant? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And guess what? You don't need to water it. It's already in the water. You're like, how do I get access to it? How do we have some fun? I can't, you know, I can't bring it out the water. Have you tried going inside the water yourself? Because we can always make excuses, right? Oh, my pet can't exist on grass. You get in the water, hold your breath, make a little bit. How are you going to train it? Dude, it's a dragon, bruv. Go diving in the waters is what I'm telling you. Explore the waters. Go in Mariana's trench, dude. Do a little bit of digging. Does it? Do we go any deeper than that? Is that the, is that the furthest depths of the ocean, or are there other depths? How deep does it go? Questions you all be asking. Stay curious. That's what we do around here, baby. I'm working on things for you guys, working on the, that's the thing, I gotta take my time. It's a one-man operation, it's a one-man band for the most, like 99.9% .9 of the time. It's a one-man operation, but what are you guys doing out here? You guys are, if you're the viewer, if you're the listener, you're the producers of this show, baby. Do you have any ideas? Do you have any life circumstances or situations that you're dealing with? Do you want some advice? I got your back. Whatever it is that you're dealing with. You know, you got yourself a couple of rug rats, a couple of ankle biters, they're giving you a hard time. I'm not a parent, but I can give you expert advice. Lose a couple, bro. It is so easy to lose a kid that's misbehaving. Under the age of five, some of them, you just let them loose and boom. Next thing you know, where'd they go? Missing. No more problem for you. You know, that's what it is, man. My dad and mom, mostly my dad was more old school than my mom, but that's the thing. My dad was the type of dad that if you misbehave, he'll pull over, rest in peace, daddy. But that's the thing, he'll pull over in the middle of the highway. He'll be like, do you want to get off right now? You know? And I'm like, no, wherever you want to go, you're the captain of this ship, let's go. But that's the thing. I feel like parents are, I'm not saying do drastic things to, you know, scar your babies for life, but you know, I hear a lot of parents just, you know, you can't say nothing to kids these days. It's hard to discipline kids these days. Back in the day, it was, you know, come from the generation of like, you know, you gotta watch your steps. You gotta watch where you go. Cause that's the thing. Parents are there to make sure that when you're out there on your own, you can conduct yourself and not get into a mess. But if you're the type that just goes out there, you know, 
cussing your parents, cussing the teacher. You know, back in the day, teachers had authority. Now it's like, no authority. I'm not saying go in there like, you know, I'm not saying go out there and like hit the kids, but you know, let a couple of them get loose for a couple of hours. Let them know how it feels. Or some, or don't do that. I'm not a parent, dude. I'm just spitballing ideas, but. You know. Or maybe that's the thing. Maybe you've been dreaming of, man, I, I wish my partner, I wish my soulmate could like sometimes, you know, just shrivel up into a nice little rodent that I could just put on my shoulders. Well, now you can by clicking the likes, by following me on Instagram and on YouTube and the Patreon. Guess what? If you want it, we can make it happen. We'll shrink your hobby, baby. We'll make him pocket size. We'll make him a little carry-on, baby. You want to carry your baby boy or baby girl on your shoulder and you're like, man, I'm tired of the future promises. They're always like, man, we're going to reduce the sizes of people and then, you know, put him elsewhere where we can enlarge him again. Do it now. Sign up. Don't miss out. First time opportunity. We're working on potions. What kind of potions? We're working on them. Disappearing potions, baby. I'm working on it. I got you. Whatever it is that you're... Because that's the thing. You never know what you might just need. Whether it's a suction cup. Whether it's diamond edge diamond cutters. Glass diamond edge. Sharp diamond edge. Glass sharp diamond edge. Cutter shut. Diamond edge cutters. For gla You never know what you're going to need. But I got you. Providing all the services. Mingling with the beautiful people of Toronto out here doing it wherever you are. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are all having a blast. Because it's a wonderful time to be alive. Changes are being made, baby. Changes are being made. Everywhere. We're here in Canada, we're having an election. Big changes, you know. You got leaders here, leaders there, leaders there, leaders back there, leaders right there some leaders out there some of you wee little ones who are watching the show we little i don't know how you're watching the show because it's all like you know age limitations but if you happen to catch a sneak peek maybe you're a leader out there prep yourself you know buy yourself you're like how do i prep for this job buy a nice tie buy a couple of suits learn to you know deviate from answering the question they ask you a question just you know talk for two minutes don't answer the question Big, big issues that you want to solve, but you know that we can't. They're like, like balancing the budget. Dude, the budget's not been balanced in like thousands of years. You're telling me you're gonna come out there and balance the budget, dude? In 10 years, it'll be balanced. Okay, how are you gonna balance it? We're gonna, we're gonna fund it. We're gonna get fiscal with this. Oh, don't cuss when you're outside with the people and the kids around. You feel me, dude? They're like, we're gonna fix it. The budget's unbalanced. It's been out of balance. How are you gonna fix it? How are we gonna up how are we gonna uplift the masses? These hard workers outside, how are we gonna make sure that they get a fair slice of the pie for all their effort? We're gonna balance it. It's a balancing act. Fiscally, we're gonna balance it. Because it's a budget that needs to be fiscally balanced. How are you going to do it? Chuck more money at it, baby. Well, one government leader will be like, we'll chuck money at it from this department or this sector of society. And then another one's like, wait, 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 wait. You can't just take money from that and then like just give it to how. And then they'll come over like, where, how are you going to fix it? We're going to take money from, where are we getting all this money? We're nearly $400 billion in debt, bro. Reconciliation for the indigenous community of Canada. How are we gonna fix it? Big questions. I don't have the answers. All I know is how to ask questions. I don't have no answers. But one thing that has kind of like, you know, been on my mind, because here in Canada and Toronto and Ontario, at least, and other places as well, there's been, a, there's a, we're all healing, baby. It's time for that global healing. Everybody's doing their part right now. I just, I just want us to take the best route. That's it. And I don't have the answers, but sometimes I'll be seeing things like, let's rename a school. Let's rename a school. Let's rename a street. They'll say that. People will get up there. 
renaming things. I don't know if it's the right thing or if it's, uh, are we doing a positive or a negative? Are we doing a pro or con here? What are we doing? What kind of game are we running? Because I, you know, I just happen to like to question things. Like, why do we go out and change the street name, but yet, you know, we still we still got the head of the state. Is, is, a, is a queen, dude. She's not even here. We're changing school names and street names. Our money's got some other lady's face on it. Who's not even here? She's not, she's not been here forever. I don't think any of them have been here for a long time. We're paying money. We're paying taxes. I don't know how much, but do the math. I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're head of the state, you're getting some bills. Because that's the thing. It's like going out there and like, you know, writing little writing a little notes or protesting or changing a name and like at the end of the day at that time these fellas these ladies i'm not i'm not supporting anything but i'm just saying it's it's gonna get a little bit murky dude if we just because how far back do we go and why don't we just like change maybe one thing why don't we become fully independent bro because that's what happened to the united states they got out of the uk they're like we had enough of this nonsense and they said goodbye they're like you know what we're gonna come in here and then canada was somewhat more or less the same but really different we did it different we got the francophone we got the anglo-saxons we got all these different cultures coming and that's the thing we still got it's the queen but now we go ahead and change the name of the street head of state dude probably responsible for everything it's just been delegated just been delegated you're going out there after like the henchmen go after the main boss go after the big boss stop going after little dudes and the little dudes, in my opinion, don't even make an impact. If you change a school name or a street name, I think you're just going to be prone to, you know, forgetting history. I'm not saying leave it there and celebrate them, but I'm just saying leave it there so people remember. My memory is almost full. I can't remember extra names. All of a sudden we go out and change street names. Now I'm losing track. Where am I? You're at this place. Oh. Feelings. Thoughts. Why do we still have a head of state? And then going ahead. Because that's the thing, like reconciliation. Well, it all stems from like colonialism, dude. And I'm not, I, that's the thing. I got no ill will towards the elderly. The whatever it is that you're doing, do it in your, do it in your own area, you know? Why do we still? That's the thing. Everything's evolving. We're going online. Everything's getting on the blockchain. Who knows? Maybe we'll remove her from our monies when it all disappears and goes online. But if we're going to change, let's change instead of going out. Because if that's the thing, you're going to have to change every street name, dude. Or almost. Because that's the thing. And we're going to, you know, it's that. It's the, it's, got, it's the emergence of the woke snake eating its own tail going out and calling everybody on everything and i'm not condo i'm not supporting anything that's i get I, this is a complex issue there's a lot of gray areas but that's the thing how are we going to go remove some henchmen's names maybe at best they're, and that's the thing at that time they were probably thinking they're just you know taking orders much like many people doing their jobs today you know sometimes even though they know deep down inside in their gut they're like maybe this isn't the best thing to do but i'm just taking orders and instead of coming out there and be like hey man Whoever put out the order, maybe they should just be changed. I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas. What do I know? All I know is if you look into people's history, if you want to dig deep, everybody's got a little bit of dirt, baby. Everybody's got a little bit of that criminality to them, especially nowadays. I'm pretty sure you all are. If you're listening, you're probably a gang member or you're a criminal yourself. You bet. I'm sure at one point, dude, you forgot a mask. I'm sure at one point you forgot to pay for something. I'm sure at one point you've, you know, given yourself that beautiful five finger discount for something. I'm not judging you. We all grow and make mistakes. But that's the thing. If we're going to hold, and we're talking about reconciliation, what do we, and I don't have the answers. That's, good. that's the thing. Sometimes I wish, you know, I wish this is going to be the first time that I'm going to be going out there and voting. Sometimes I wish I could take that one vote and divide it amongst the four or five candidates that we got. Elect them all. Bring all your best ideas. Work together. Make Canada great. Because it's just it doesn't make me feel good leaving all my eggs in one basket. They've never been the type that carries his eggs in one multiple baskets for this dude all day, every day. Things that are on my mind. 
things that are on my mind. It's Friday, doing things that you and me. Having fun outside. Go out there and get it, baby. But seriously, you know, whatever it is, that's the thing. We tackle everything and nothing, whether it's sports, politics, the arts, the farts. I got your back. You got my back. Go out and hit those like buttons. Follow me on Instagram. Search Rob Sadri on YouTube. Get the full length video. If you want to give back a little bit of something, something, go on Patreon. Click the link below my name on Instagram. See what happens, dude. Only good things, I promise you. Talk to you guys tomorrow for the Patreon episode. Go get it out there. Love you guys. Stay safe. Have fun. It's a beautiful weekend to be alive. Peace out.